Yo, what's up guys, it's Whittall. We're back today with chapter 7, part 7. Only one more after this, and then uh, we're pretty much done with the Thief series. I may post a few challenge mode games, but uh, here we go, let's get this started. So, uh, I actually have a story. This was the a last really messed up story to tell you guys. A ruined home Yesterday I was playing gods. this game. Desperate people or I was on chapter 6, years. getting all the collectibles. Orion I was on chapter 7, but I, I didn't do it yet. Um, but I went back through all the chapters to get the collectibles. I get to chapter 6, I had all the collectibles in the game except for the, the last three levels. You know, I had everything done. I was so far into the game. And I think, uh... Oh, you stupid bird. I don't even care about being detected anymore, I just kinda just go through it. But uh, yeah, I had everything done, and I got an error message and it kicked me from the game and sent me back to the main menu. So I restart the game, come back, and my save data got corrupted. The whole thing was gone, so I had to restart the whole game last night. And in six hours, I got all the way back to chapter seven, got all the side missions done, got all my collectibles back. Pretty much, I'm further right now in six hours than I was back playing in a week because I knew where everything was. So it just shows you how short this game is. I could literally get, I could probably get the whole game done, like all the collectibles, all the loot, all the levels, I could probably get all of them done in a matter of one day. This game is very short, but it's it's fun. It's still fun, but um, but I'm glad we're getting to the end of this chapter because it's been it's been a fun series. This is the first time I've ever done an actual series. So. Oh, I got detected. I'm out. But since tomorrow will be the last upload of Thief for the chapters, I may upload a few challenge modes possibly. Um, but tomorrow is the last official date of, of for me uploading these daily. So, if you guys have any suggestions for games, you got to tell me today or tomorrow because I don't really know what to play right now. I'm kind of I'm getting a little bored of games, especially since it's getting nicer outside. You know, I I, I want I've been starting to work out more and I want to get out more this summer. You know, hang out with friends, do some stuff, maybe get a new job and stuff. So you know, I might not be. Uh, as active as I as I am right now, it might be every few days or so like that. But if I had suggestions from you guys, give me some feedback on what you want to see, um, I could make that happen. Because right now, Call of Duty's getting a little boring. I think I, what I'll do is after this. Hang on, let's watch this cutscene. Oh, it's not really a cutscene. Okay. I think what I'll do I'll after this is I'll. Ride. I will upload well, I never like crowds anyway. um, a few Call of Duties, maybe MW3 or some down. goes, just talk about a few things. And then, uh, you know, I heard some. I heard Outlast had, was having right. DLC come out, and maybe I'll upload that. You know, just, just upload whatever for now. Um, I know this Thief thing didn't uh, get a ton of views. I only had a few people watch each video, but I still I enjoyed it. I had fun with it, and I feel good when I'm uploading every day, so. Um, yeah. This, this was a cool game though. I'm just going to try to sneak to past everybody here. Below. I got to get over to that elevator over there. So I got to get down there. I think there's probably a switch over there. The game's pretty predictable too after you play it for a while. You kind of know exactly what you got to do in every level. You kind of just want to follow the guards. They usually lead you to shit. This storm washes the stain of tyrants and faithless men from our streets. Soon we will bear witness to the grave and dawn. I'm starving. Alright. Oh, he turned around. That's good. So tired these days. This guy's probably gonna just turn around on me now too. Or keep walking. That's good. Sent it back up already? But yeah, I was pretty pissed off when my game got deleted yesterday. I thought it would take me a long time to get everything back. Thank God I was, I'm pretty good at the game as it is, so I was able to get through and get some of the collectibles and stuff. But I was frustrated. I called I called Sony and they gave me the number for the people that made this game, Square Enix. And I made the funniest phone call ever. I had like five of my friends in party chat when I was talking to the guy. And I was doing a stupid voice that doesn't even sound like me. I was asking him these stupid questions, asking oh, I asked him the questions I needed to get answered. But then I asked him how what the number was to sue Sony and he started getting into that. And my friends were dying though. It was it was really funny. I should have recorded that. 
but yeah, it pretty much just said I was screwed. I can't, I, I'll tell you what though, guys, you know, this summer, I can't wait for summer because of E3, but like, I, I, there's so many games coming out, oh, I just picked that guy up for the door close, but there's so many games coming out before the summer ends, and this fall, that I just, I can't wait. There are, I mean, I can name three games right now that I'm going to be playing for the next few years, which is Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront and The Division are actually the two games I guarantee I'll be playing for the next two, two, three years because if they make Star Wars Battlefront the way they did when I was a kid, I'm going to freaking love that game, man. Especially with trophies, better graphics, playing online with your friends. Oh, dude, that game is going to be so sick if they don't mess it up. Each it really city is. built upon the bones of the last. If these buried stones could tell their stories, I wonder what they'd say. But this is, I, I think I did pretty good for my first live com series. Let me know what you guys thought. If any of you guys watched this, let me know what you guys thought of my series of this so far. I got one more tomorrow, and I'll, maybe I'll start doing some live comms of Call of Duty. If they start making some better shit. I haven't played Call of Duty in about a month now. And I heard yesterday that they, actually my brother told me this. He said that they put, they patched something where the Juggernaut Maniac has a gun now. I mean, if that's true, then I'm not even playing Ghost anymore. Because like, that game was retarded as it was. But now they're adding guns with juggernauts that can run around going 20 miles an hour. That makes a lot of sense. So, I don't know, guys. Hopefully the next Call of Duty will be good. Hopefully they start... I wish they make more games like this. More uh, fun, interactive games or something. Because this game is... It has a lot of cheap things in it, like you know they repeat a lot of stuff, and it's not the best graphics, but it's got it's got a good story to it, and it's got um, a very short story, but it's a good story, and it's got a lot of things to keep people interested, like me who like to go for trophies and challenges. It's got so many collectibles, and oh, and I'm dead. No, I'm not. But it's got so many collectibles in it, so many things to go for. It keeps me occupied, and it has a sense of status, or a sense of. What do you call it? Um, to climb back up. Sense, I would say satisfaction. When you get all that stuff, you get all the collectibles, you get those trophies. I like that. Um, so I hope they make another game. Like I hope they make Thief 2. I know this series has been going on for 16 years. It's like one of the longest game series in history. Um, that's not obvious. You get to know this game too well with the traps too. You kind of just know that there's a box nearby. I'm looking for it now. There it is. But, yeah, if they make more games like this, like, I was thinking about getting Tomb Raider for my PS4, but, I mean, it's kind of too late to get that now. A lot of people already played it. I don't want to play it after a whole bunch of people played it now. And I don't have the money to be getting that right now. But I don't know, guys. Um, let me know what games you want to see. That's really all I can say. I know I'm repeating myself a lot. Oh, shit. Man, we're in those tunnels again with those stupid things. Them creature things. That's the other thing that sucks. I got all the collectibles back except for chapter this chapter, the next chapter, and chapter five. And chapter five is the one that's stupid asylum. I gotta go back through that again. That's the third time in a row I have to play that. It's so freaking creepy at night. I gotta get all the collectibles again in that stupid mission. It's already dark out here, so I mean. Go and see, will you? I hate that mission. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to try to get every trophy so in this game, though. There's the one trophy where you gotta discover every area, so that means every map you have to just go, you have to go discover every area, and you have to go in the open world and discover every area, and that's gonna take a long time. And then I gotta beat the game two more times. I gotta beat it on master thief mode, which is the hardest difficulty. You can't, you can't even knock somebody out once or it starts you over, and then custom. Is a difficulty of like, son, you better walk away. Oh my god. Shit. Alright, we're running. But custom difficulty, I don't even know what that is. I, I, I mean, I know what it is, but I mean, there's like, with 700 points, I don't get what points are, but hopefully that's not too hard. So that, and then all the collectibles I will get probably today. And then I forget what else there is. There's a few other harder trophies too. Oh shit. How are we walking on this floor? Look at that. 
How are my feet not going through this? I'll tell you what, though. I've pushed this log out of the way probably 150 times this, throughout this whole campaign. It is This is the most repetitive thing in the game, I swear to God. Every time there's a crack where you have the whole square to go through, that's what she said, you have to, you have to push that log out of the way. Just like in the asylum, they've been changed by the prime. Oh, it's one of them things there. Aaron. Oh, I need to stop Orion I've seen quickly. That. I think that's an actual objective too. To shoot more, two or three of those down. I don't even think that killed them. Rope arrow. Oh, yeah, you need a rope arrow. I knew it because you couldn't jump that gap. You can totally tell I've changed as a player too. Like when this game first came out, the first few live comms, I was running around stealing all the loot and stuff like that. And then like you realize um, that you don't need to do that. You should just beat the mission because you can go back through the mission later and get all the collectibles. It's, it's really just pointless for doing live comms anyway. For YouTubers like me or something like that, it, it just takes so you know it just takes so, so much time. It's long enough trying to beat the mission, let alone get all the collectibles. But I don't get all the collectibles anymore. Well, I get all the collectibles, I just don't get all the loot. Because you don't get anything for it. And I already have, like, tens of thousands of dollars already. I already bought everything. Is this thing going to stop now? Thank you, son. Oh shit! Dude, it was like half a f half a freaking inch away from stopping it, and it's, it starts up again. Look at that. That's some bullshit. All right, we gotta be getting close to the end here, or like, you know, to the main part of this. I think we're going to that chapel. I've been running through this freaking underground shit for about ten minutes now. No, fifteen minutes. It looks like. Around ten. Like I'm gonna shoot this guy in the head with an arrow. Oh, heads. you know what? I'm gonna switch arrows to that sawtooth one. So I can, you shoot him in the head with the sawtooth one. The guys with the helmets can really go through the helmet. The other ones won't really go through it much. Sometimes they will. Sometimes right, they won't. Brother. Hold still, son. There you go. I love to shoot people in the face with the arrows in this game. It's really fun. You peg somebody freaking 300 yards away, they don't even. All you see is the body drop, and then the, everyone's like, "What the hell's going on?" It's a pretty fun time. I don't know where to go. Is that a crack? There's a crack. Watch the log, guys. Wait for the log. What's up, buddy? Like that right there, it's just kind of annoying, you know, because they, they could have done such a better job with that. Like, this game is awesome. So are so many other games. And, like, this game isn't anything crazy. It's just a different type of game. And it's like, um, how can I say it? It's a good game, but it could have been so much better. The voices could have been better. Uh, they all sound the same. Uh, they could have made more lines because they all say the same thing. They could have made them do other things besides stand in the same spot for 25, 30 minutes. Like, you could sit there the whole time. Inside and that move. rotunda, Orion is administering um, his cure. The mechanisms are the same. You know, every every, every know single it. thing is either has glass, like right here, or birds, dogs, or the logs, or fire. It's just, you know, it's too much the same. It's still fun, but it's just, you know, it could have been way better if they... Nowadays, they just don't take the time in their games. They knew they could not hold us back. We couldn't hold ourselves. I don't know. It's just, uh... Oh. I wish you could shoot an arrow through two people at once. Oh man, I've been talking a lot about how this game is. I can call this a review video if I wanted to. But I'm probably not going to make a review. Maybe I will. 
But I mean, it's I should know. pretty. You guys have already seen. You know, it's kind of just the same thing every time. It just depends on if you're into this type of thing where you get to like a little slower pace. For me, it's a change of pace in Call of Duty because I'm bored of it. Today is the day we showed Baron Northcrest that the people are the lifeblood of this city and are not to be ignored. Your pains and fears are soon to be at an end, friends. This is a good day. The power I gift you with here shall repel any suffering affliction that may try to claim you. Once all have been anointed, we shall share this gift to the world. Beyond these I knew shores! Aaron wasn't dead. I knew she wouldn't die. She didn't die there. I saw her floating. She didn't hit the ground. I just hope she stays alive, though. I have a feeling this game's gonna have some stupid ending. I hate it when they do that. Where he'll, like, save her by killing himself, or, like, she'll die but save others. I hate when they do that, man. I wish they would, they would just, like, let the main characters live. I like Aaron. She would, they would have been, this game would have been so much more fun if they, if you could work together with her, like, your own sister in this game. That'd be really sick if you could work together. That's what I'm hoping if she survives. We can, like, you know, you can, like, visit her, like, do missions with her. But the replayability uh, factor in this game is kind of not there. Like, I already beat all the side missions. Like, if you took your time, yeah, but I mean, I played this game for close to a week straight. I haven't had to work for a little while, so. i just been playing this game, and within a week, I've beat, already done everything. So if you're like that and did everything, there's really no point to play after that. Garrett! What have you done? I, ne I need that. We need that! Don't you understand what I'm trying to do here? You need to stop, Orion. Stop protecting the people. Stop trying to give them a better life. You're not helping these people. You're sentencing them to death. They may feel good now, but trust me, their bodies can't handle the primal. No! <laughs> This one's mine. <laughs> the Rat King! Picking pockets like always. I've waited a long time to see you hang, Master Thief. Well, I don't need a noose. It'll be a fucking pleasure to choke the life out of you with my bare hands. Life lessons about time. Maybe it's better to slip away. Yeah, it says you can leave or stay. I'm gonna stay and kill this bitch because you guys all know I hate this guy. Ugly ass piece of garbage, that stupid haircut, acts like he's a badass. I hate this guy with a passion. Thank god I bought those blast arrows before I came on this mission too. Alright, I'm saw too. Can I finish this bitch? Or like, can I do a move on him? But it actually says finish him too. As a rule, I don't kill people unless I have no other choice. But just like someone else I know, I don't follow the rules, do I? Oh, son, thank you, Garrett. Oh my god, that felt good. That was a satisfying mission. My friend told me that'd be a satisfying mission like the day before I played it. And I think I already knew why. I was like, yeah, you're going to kill that guy. And thank God. Hate that guy. So I'm guessing this is probably the end of the chapter, though. One more after this. Alright, I'm out of here. I got this new lockpick feature too. I bought that special thing for focus so I can do this so much easier. Oh. I think this is the end. Yep. Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching. Uh, part 
Chapter 8 will be up tomorrow, and then we'll go from there. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.